In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to replace the gear set in your HS81 servo. On the right hand side, I have a nylon gear set, part number 56403. On the left hand side, I have a metal gear set, part number 56386. Both can be purchased from high tech. The metal gear set is preferred to the nylon gear set. It will resist stripping and has longer life. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to replace our nylon gear set with a metal gear set. First step is to remove the four screws in the bottom of the servo. You can see I've already loosened the first three screws. And the fourth screw over here, simply loosen it. You'll need a fine point Phillips head screwdriver, typically referred to as a jeweler's or an eyeglass screwdriver. Once they're loose, you can see the bottom half stores the electronics. We're not interested in that for today's tutorial, so invert the servo. We need to remove the top half of the servo. Simply pull in a vertical direction. Be careful not to disturb your gears. We want to know the orientation so that we can replace with the metal gears. I'll take them off one by one and set them aside. The main gear sits on a shaft with a flat so it has some retention force. Simply pull in a vertical direction and it will slide off and remove the last gear. Now we can bring in the metal gears. I've already removed them from the packaging. We'll put on the first gear over here. Rotates nicely. Now this gear has a flat in the bottom, the nylon area you can see here. And there's a flat on the shaft. This is for the potentiometer which provides feedback to the position control system. I simply engage with the shaft and I rotate in one direction until it drops on. Do not force it, otherwise you'll damage it. Put on the right gear on the bottom and the last gear. There we go. Now the tricky part is to get the top cover on. At this point I would apply grease. High Tech makes a servo lubricant part number 58450. For demonstration purposes, I'm not going to apply the lubricant. So for the top half, we have a shaft that's pressed into the housing that needs to go down through these two gears on the right-hand side. So I'm going to try and keep them oriented while I line up the shaft. This takes a little bit getting used to. Might take a couple of times for you to get it. Don't force it together. There you go secured. Now simply tighten the four screws on the bottom and you'd be done. You also get a couple of other parts. You get a shaft to replace the shaft that holds the two gears that's pressed into the top half housing. It's not necessary typically. You also get an internal lock washer and a pan head machine screw. These are used to secure the servo horn to the now aluminum uh, main shaft. The internal lock washer prevents the machine screw from backing out under use. That's it for today's demo. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks.